People often hate schedules because they act as their own tyrants, right? They say, well, you have to do this unpleasant thing, and then here's another unpleasant thing you have to do. Yeah, so that's a really big point, three seconds in. When you have a schedule, you need to prioritize your time in a way, in a hierarchy, that helps you enjoy what you're doing and feel good about your accomplishments. So let's let's break this down really quick. Jordan Peterson's about to go through a couple of things. We'll continue in a sec. Let's just break this down super fast. I'll show you what I'm talking about. So when it comes to holidays, when it comes to schedule, when it comes to any week of pretty much of your life, the way that I would organize and to solve this problem of inefficiency or lack of motivation all comes down to schedule. And when you plan your schedule, my big recommendation is taking a Sunday morning and taking an hour and planning exactly what you're going to do every hour of the entire week. And you can that way prioritize your goals because if your goals are in one area of life all written down, kind of in a notebook, hidden away, or maybe you don't have goals, you should write those. <laughs> They're pretty helpful. But when you have these goals, right, you need to have them in front of you. And so your schedule should reflect your goals in life. And the way that you can figure out how to fit everything in is by using a method that's pretty popular called a rock, pebble, sand method. So this method, and I'm going to add something called reward here because there's something that Jordan Peterson is going to say here on this video that I'll show you here in a second. And he just talks about having rewards. And this is one of the things that most people don't put in their schedule that I've been doing for years that seems to be really helpful. And when I share it with people, it seems to make a big difference. So let's run through it. So, so what are rocks, pebbles, sand? So essentially when you look at your big goals in life, whatever it might be, maybe it's writing five books or getting your business to $10 million or whatever it is, right? And you may have other values values than just goals like, you know, writing books and, you know, having revenue. It could also be spending time with your kids or spending time with your spouse, whatever it is, whatever your goals are in life, spiritual, you know, professional, family, social, whatever, right? All of these goals should be reflected here, okay? And so when you have these goals, there are things that come up in life that are really urgent and they're important. And then we have things that are really important, but they're not urgent. Then we have things that are unimportant that are urgent. And then we have things that are really unimportant and not urgent at all. And so what we're trying to do is we're trying to prioritize the important things that are not urgent first, then the urgent things that are important, and then the rest of the stuff that's really not that valuable to us, okay? So rocks, everything important to you, everything important to you um, that has to get done on a weekly basis. Um, again, this is a little bit subjective, but a rock should be sleep because sleep allows you to be productive. But for some people, they'll put sleep in a sand, which sand are, are very unimportant things. Imagine that you have a jar of air and the air is your time for a week. If you put in the rocks first, you can sprinkle pebbles to fit in some spaces and you can pour sand in. And pouring that sand in fills in all the spaces and it maximizes your time. If you do sand first, right, and then you do pebbles and then you do rocks, you fit in the least amount of rocks. Remember, rocks are our most important things. Pebbles are important things that are just more flexible. That's what those basically mean. So what you do is you get your week out on a piece of paper. So maybe we'd have that like here somewhere. And uh, what you do is you put all of your rocks, you list them all out, like the 10 or 20 things that are rocks, like sleep and when you're eating, when you're exercising, those should all be rocks. I don't care what you're doing. You should be having a healthy lifestyle. It makes you think better, okay, mentality wise. Um, and then you need to have all of your other things. So for most business owners, I look at their schedules and I look at what generates income for them. And I prioritize the income generating activities or the things that are gonna help them the most in the long term. For example, when I was writing my book that just got finished 22 months of work, by the way, um, I would have, it was the hardest thing for me to do, but it was one of the most important things and it was the least urgent thing. And the stats are that 99% of people never finish writing a book who start. And so I wanted to actually finish the book. So I just dedicated an hour every morning, the first thing when other people were asleep or getting to work from eight to nine, I would just write my book every day for seven months straight. And that allowed me to come out with a book, which is coming out December 9th. You should totally get one. It's called The Problem with Potential, How to Stop Overthinking and Get Out of Your Own Way. And actually it has, this exercise is actually in that book. You'll probably like it. And there's a free workbook that comes with it. It's a pretty cool thing. So um, I think the link's right here uh, and it's in the description, joegness.com slash The Problem with Potential. So go check it out. And the pre-order date's December 4th and it's being released on December 9th. So, right, so this is, so what you're doing, right? You've got all of your rocks. You should have, you should write them all out. You should have them all there. Then you put them into your schedule first and then you write out all your pebbles. What are the flexible but important things, but it doesn't matter you know, when they happen. For example, that might be guitar for me. I love playing guitar, I love singing, but that's a flexible thing and doesn't harm me if I don't do that. For some people, it could be their rock because it's subjective. Maybe that brings you so much joy and value that you, you need to be 
playing guitar every day. That's totally fine. Sand is things that don't matter that you want to fit in just because you can fit them in. For example, watching Netflix, some Love is Blind type show, or you know, whatever's popular right now uh, would be more of a sand. Now rewards, rewards, okay, what you do is you attach your reward to your rocks. So if you do your rocks, okay, then you get a reward. And the reason you need this is because some of your rocks are gonna be things that you're not always motivated to do, but really are things that you wanna accomplish. Like we don't always wanna to go to the gym, but when we go to the gym, we're always making progress, right? We should always feel good about ourselves for accomplishing that. So when we have rewards, right, this can help us reinforce that what we're doing is worth it. So they can be as simple as a meal, they can be as simple as a fun activity that you like to do, and you've gotta have rewards in order to stay consistent with your schedule. Because if there's no rewards, and this is some people I work with, they work 8 a.m. to 9 p.m., zero rewards, okay? You will burn out and you will not wanna do this anymore. So you gotta have rewards. So for example, if I'm working hard all week from let's say eight to six or something, when I do that and I'm really intentional with my time, I hit all my rocks, I go get Indian food on Fridays once a week, and that makes me feel good. I love Indian Indian food. If you've never tried it, chicken korma is the best thing you could ever have, in my opinion. So you need to figure out what your rewards are for when you do this. This helps motivate you, keeps you on track. This helps you stay on track towards reaching your goals. This all together will motivate you to stay on a schedule. Schedule is your lifeline, and if you pick your rocks correctly, you'll be moving towards your goals. You'll be you know, generating more revenue. You'll be writing that book that you wanna write or you'll be becoming a better family man or woman or whatever it is that you're trying to do. The goal is to, to have a vision for your life such that all things considered, that justifies your effort. Okay, so then what do you do? Well, then, then you turn down to the micro routines. It's like, okay, well, this is what I'm aiming for. How does that instantiate itself day to day, week to week, month to month? And that's where something like a schedule can be unbelievably useful. Google Calendar. It's like, make a damn schedule and stick to it. Okay, so what's the rule with a schedule? It's not a bloody prison. That's the first thing that people do wrong. They say, well, I don't like to have, follow a schedule. Well, it's like, well, what kind of schedule are you setting up? Well, I, I have to do this, then I have to do this, then I have to do this, you know, and then I just go play video games because who wants to do all these things that I have to do? It's like, wrong. Set the damn schedule up so that you have the day you want. That's the trick. It's like, okay, I've got tomorrow. If I was gonna set it up so it was the best possible day I could have, practically speaking, what would it look like? Well, then you schedule that. And obviously there's a bit of responsibility that's gonna go along with that because if you have any sense, one of the things that you're gonna insist upon is that at the end of the day, you're not in worse shape than you were than at the beginning of the day, right? Because that's a stupid day. If you have a bunch of those in a row, you just dig yourself a hole and then you bury yourself in it. It's like, sorry, that's just not a good strategy. So hopefully it helps that, guys. Um, if this did help, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and check out the uh, Problem with Potential um, on joegnes.com slash problem with potential. Book sales helps us keep doing things like this. Hope you enjoy.